Hey friends! So today I am going to give myself a pixie cut hair trim. I am basically in the middle of a haircut. So usually I get my pixie cut trimmed every six weeks or so. And I would say the whole last year, I've been stretching that out like double and giving myself a little trim in between because when I do get my hair cut, I get some really subtle highlights done. And um, I don't know, it's a lot of effort going into the salon and getting that all done. And also my hair hasn't grown out enough to get new highlights. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm giving myself a mid trim um, before, and then it buys me another six weeks or so. And then I get a full on salon pixie cut hair trim and highlights. So today I'm going to show you my very unprofessional way of trimming my own hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on something to protect my clothing. So I have this little cape here that I have with my set of clippers. I'm going to go ahead and the other thing is, depends on what kind of hair you have. I have really straight hair. It has a little tiny bit of curl, not much. It's mostly straight, but when it's wet and I trim it, it doesn't look as good as when it's dry and I trim it. So depending on the hair type, like um, get it wet as needed. And I also pretty much part it in the same way um, that I would normally part it so that I can trim appropriately around the part. And I'm gonna separate the bulk of the front of my hair with the back of my hair. So I've moved a mirror in here for me so you can see two of me right now. And this is gonna help me see the back of my hair. I'm gonna use these nice little clips. this way. So I'm going to put my fingers here and trim. Take my scissors. Do that next. and we'll get that here at the end, but I want to keep trimming a little bit because it still feels a tad long to me. Thank you. 
shorter here on the right versus the left, but we can just trim that up. So far, so good. I'm liking the way this is coming together. feel better just having the back of my hair trimmed up. So honestly, you could stop there if you're happy with the length of your hair. If you just pull your front forward like I did, pin it, and then do your best to trim quarter to a half to an inch off the back. I mean, the back of my hair was like almost out of here, so I'm already liking um, the improvement. While I'm here, I'm just gonna do a quick shave up of my neck. way too bulky so I need to take a lot of this bulk off I'm also looking at probably half an inch to an inch taken off and so I'm gonna take my comb and start working on this and again I'm gonna cut with my natural part I'm gonna cut with my natural part and so because what I've noticed is if I cut with a front part like I don't ever use a front part, but it comes out looking funny when I style my hair. So I'm gonna keep the natural part, which is not a deep part, but kind of off to the side here a little bit. And I'm gonna start back here. And so I'm gonna make So I'm going to just get some hair there. Let's repeat that. Okay, on to the next one. but um, I have been cutting my husband's hair and my son's hair for years and years and years. Um, sometimes I'll cut my mom's hair. I'm just kind of scrappy. I don't have good technique, to be honest. I probably could learn good technique, but I just kind of get by. Which during the pandemic, I cut my hair for two years, so. So I'm still taking off some of this, some of this bulk, but I've gone here, here, and here. Now I'm gonna take this one. Okay, 
That's also feeling better. Now I'm gonna go off here to the right. And you know, I didn't do the back, did I? I should probably make sure to get the back. Still feels a little bulky back here. I might take just a tad more off. Like right here. a little bulky. I sure did cut my finger. I am the most clumsy person, including when I'm giving myself a haircut. Okay, so it's feeling much lighter. Definitely lighter. I'm trying to decide if I wanna keep it kind of shaggy, like over my ears, or if I wanna go higher. I'm kind of thinking of keeping it shaggy, but maybe a little closer to the head right there. So you can see where I've been cutting right here, but down here, I haven't been. So I'm gonna take a part of hair, a section of hair, Thank you. 
sections of hair going this way, you now need to do it horizontally too to make sure you're not completely off. And I'm a little bit off there. to stay kind of wispy like this, but they're really sweat again so that I can do a better job. look all over my hair right now. I'm going to look all around my head to see if there's any glaring problems. dryer out and I'm gonna just dry my damp hair and do a real quick style so you can see the finished product but I am happy with the trim I think it came out good um, yeah it's not there's probably areas where it's not perfect but again I was just trying to trim it so that I don't have to go into the salon for another six weeks so let's do a quick blow dry and style and see how it turned out texture in it since I didn't treat my hair after I got out of the shower. I'm going to do a good spray here. And this is where the fun comes in. You can make it as messy or as slick as you want it. 
get a little height on the top. When my hair got was getting too long, when I first started cutting, um, what happens with my hair is this part gets too long and it weighs down and I can't get much volume or lift on the top of my head. And so this feels much more like it. Um, this is like where I, this is the length of hair that I like. It just feels um, clean. It also doesn't feel like a lot of hair on my head and it feels cooler on my neck. I just prefer the style um, to my hair getting too long, but I think it came out good. I'm gonna put a little bit of, this is called uh, the Away brand. I've had this, I've probably had this thing for, for two years, but this is called water resin. The smell is lovely. It smells like a European farm and start working that in there. Get a little more, more height on the top of my head here. What do you guys think? So DIY pixie cut hair trim with scissors and I didn't completely botch it. I'm happy with it. Now, the next time I do wash my hair, I'm gonna definitely check for any uneven areas and if I need to do a quick little tiny snip, I will. Um, but I feel much better. I've been waiting way too long for a haircut. I think it's actually been longer than six weeks. Let me know how this video worked for you if you tried it on your hair. And I hope all of you are doing great today and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.